Better is a dry morsel and quietness with it than a house full of feasting with strife. A servant who acts wisely will rule over a son who acts shamefully and will share in the inheritance among brothers. The refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests hearts. An evildoer listens to wicked lips. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. He who mocks the poor taunts his maker. He who rejoices at calamity will not go unpunished. Grandchildren are the crown of old men, and the glory of sons is their fathers. Excellent speech is not fitting for a fool, much less are lying lips to a prince. A bribe is a charm in the sight of its owner. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who conceals a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates intimate friends. A rebuke goes deeper into one who has understanding than a hundred blows into a fool. A rebellious man seeks only evil, so a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. He who returns evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so abandon the quarrel before it breaks out. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Why is there a price in the hand of a fool to buy wisdom when he has no sense? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man lacking in sense pledges and becomes guarantor in the presence of his neighbor. He who loves transgression loves strife. He who raises his door seeks destruction. He who has a crooked mind finds no good, and he who is perverted in his language falls into evil. He who sires a fool does so to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. A wicked man receives a bribe from the bosom to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is in the presence of the one who has understanding, but the eyes of the fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her who bore him. It is also not good to find the righteous, nor to strike the noble for their uprightness. He who restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool when he keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is considered prudent. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that you were blessed by the reading of the scripture. I wanna encourage you that if you gathered with multiple people, that each one of you pick a verse from this chapter. Pick that verse that was highlighted to you, the one that stood out and discuss it. What is the Lord saying through this verse? How is it speaking to you? I also wanna encourage you that you can do this every month. Because there's 31 chapters in Proverbs, at the end of the month, you can start over. And every time you visit these chapters, I guarantee you, you'll find something new to talk about. It's life changing. We have done this as a family for about two years or so, and we've seen a change in our mindset, how we look at wisdom, how we look at foolishness, how we look at righteous living. It's a complete character change for sure. The whole point is to get it in you, not just to go through it as a, as a checklist, but get it in you and live it out. So again, I hope that you are blessed by these videos. Share this with your friends and your family. Let's get the word out there. Come on. Thank you again in Jesus' name.